Now, this pandemic continues to result in a lot of changes for everyone. Even funeral homes have had to adapt. Many adapting to the new normal, even in a time of grief. Jocelyn Person had the chance to speak with a few funeral directors on how the changes impacted services. She joins us now in the studio to tell us more. Good morning, Jocelyn. Good morning, Dave, and good morning to you at home. We all have to adapt to change. Funeral home directors we've spoken to say the changes aren't difficult. However, they do say it's just heartbreaking to limit the number of people to attend the service. It's not a traditional funeral service. Many funeral homes would have to conduct services in a different way because of this pandemic. There are um, restrictions just like the, the CDC guidelines for, for 10 people or less uh, at services. Gatherings are eliminated. Many funeral homes have set new standards because of social distancing guidelines. It's really heartbreaking when you're telling a family that's experiencing loss to try to, you know, stay apart from each other, wear masks, um, to do the things. But we also understand that it is necessary to keep everybody safe. Family and friends can still show their respects just now with the help from technology. We would uh, live stream services. Uh, we're not only live streaming services here in the funeral home, uh, some of the other churches that we work with in the area are, are, are also live streaming. Many do understand that changes are out of their control these days when trying to say goodbye. It's been surprising to me, myself personally, that, that how understanding people have been and cooperating. Funeral homes use universal precautions when treating a body, treating each person as if they were contagious, which is standard practice. Dave. Jocelyn, thank you so much. See you next half hour.